Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we have another great one moose to show you. This is my third favorite moose, and now on three different maps. Took my first great one moose on New England, a pretty tough map to grind on. Moose are all over the map, and they have plenty of thick cover to hide in with all those small creeks. We've been playing on Leighton Lakes for our last few weeks, grinding out whitetail and moose. You may remember seeing a video that I put out a while back saying that we're starting up a new Great One grind and that it was going to be on Leighton Lakes. I've always loved Leighton Lakes and there's potential to harvest three great ones here, so why not hunt it? Before we get into the rest of the video, if you guys are not subscribed already to the channel, be sure to do that. I've noticed that quite a few of you are actually not subscribed but still watch a lot of content. Be sure to subscribe to the channel ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss out on your brand new uploads somebody's trying to call me right now i am not about to answer the phone when there's a great one moose on the map so i'd normally start out my day hunting whitetail and i do that multiple times and then sometimes i just continue to hunt moose after the whitetail drink times over the moose start to come out there's always like a little gap in between when the whitetails end their drink time and the moose start their drink time. I normally see whitetail moving around and traveling and I will take them while they're traveling without a tripod. Let's see if we can get a little closer to this great one moose. Man, he just looks amazing. So something I want to do the next time a great one spawn was try to get in real close and see if I can get a screenshot take a nice picture with the camera let's see if this is going to work so normally you get pretty close to a moose but there's a lot of grass right here so it's pretty tall may not be able to see him if i try to get too close but that's okay i know where he's drinking so there's always tomorrow if he runs away so like i was saying earlier this is my third great one moose and it's still exciting to see him and that's why i keep coming back to the hunter call the wild for these great ones these fabled animals they have on the map it's something i wish the way of the hunter would kind of implement once you take so many five stars it just kind of got boring and i kind of gave up on the game plus in call of the wild i just like harvesting animals so many so many it's one thing I missed about Call of the Wild when I played Way of the Hunter for quite a while. Once you take so many level 5s, you just kind of have to wait for the next generation to grow up. So I was kind of missing the Call of the Wild. So I came back to Call of the Wild and started harvesting as many whitetail and as many other fallow deer and any species that had a great one. I'm going to try to find them and locate their drink zones, find all the great ones harvest them all and put them in my trophy lodge let's see if we can move in a little closer hopefully they're making their way towards me after blowing the moose call I just can't see them and for some reason i keep deleting or removing my scent cover spray i think i'm going through the menu too quick and accidentally remove it and there's one moose there's a small level there's several level twos in this area and the great one just showed up so of course the zones where I have some nice level 4s and level 5s where I'm trying to spawn a great one. He did not show up. He just popped up and he's running away. So he must have saw me when I stood up a little bit. Yeah like I was saying I'll try to get some zones where I have some nice level 5s and taking some diamonds. And of course a great one. It seems to be a pattern with these guys. They just spawn somewhere where you're not expecting them that's why i always go back and check my drink zones even the ones that just have level twos i had several red deer great ones that just showed up in some zones that i hadn't hunted in a while just had some level four red deers and sure enough go check them one day and there's a great one standing right there next to them drinking trying to see if you have any disturbed vegetation to get a color see what fur type he has but it doesn't look like he left any tracks behind that's okay we'll just go back to the tent reset the clock take a little nap come back and hopefully he's back there at his drink zone so of course i did go there early around 1300 waited a while he did not show up so i went hunt some other zones 
came back probably with about 15 minutes of actual game time after I went to check a few zones and he is back. So this time I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to get in that tripod and call him, see if we can take a shot on him. So if you watched some of my previous videos, you know I recently started playing a brand new profile, playing on PC now, made the switch from years of playing on Xbox. So what happened to all my trophies and great ones? They are gone. I guess they're still on my Xbox profile. If I ever logged on again, they would be there. But my PC profile is brand new trophy lodge, so it's quite empty right now. So I've only taken so many diamonds. I got a lot of great crocodiles and bantings from Emerald Coast and a few other species, but now it's time to put some great ones in the trophy lodge. Let's let that collar work its magic. Looks like he's moving a little bit. Let's take a look. Oh wow, look at that. That is amazing. So this is one fur type that I did not already have on my PC profile. So I had the Fabled Oak. I'm using the 338. Let's go ahead and blow that collar one more time. See if we get him in nice and close. We'll go for the heart shot. Just keep walking towards me just like that. Oh wow, just look at that. That looks amazing. He's almost like an albino. He has that white fur. Beautiful. Oh, come on. What you doing? What you doing? That's close enough. You could just stop now. There you go. Take a nice deep breath. Oh, and he is down. Look at that. He just went right down. So excited. Let's run over there and pick him up. So it's my first great one on the brand new PC profile. So now we have something exciting to add to the trophy lodge. I think I might take a screenshot of some of these mountains in the background to add that for the thumbnail. Now we're gonna need to get a great one white tail to spawn on late lakes and then we'll switch over to hunting some bear. Look at that. Oh wow. Man, he just looks amazing. Let's take a look. F Fable Birch, great one. 1495 pounds. Not too bad at all. Well guys, I hope you can get you a great one added to your trophy lodge. As always, I really appreciate you watching. Do me a big favor, hit that like and subscribe button. Keep on hunting, stay happy, and I will see you next time.